Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. In the presence of my enemies, movie thoughts. I just want to clear up in case anyone wanted, in case anyone watched the review, either of them, either of the videos, and was wondering about the plot thread that is brought up early on and then not. The violent uprising of the bitter Jews, and and the fact that they have guns and all this stuff. I think I'm pretty sure it's brought up in like the first half hour, and then nothing happens with it until near the very end, like in the last 10-15 minutes. You know, it's a very vital part of the story, but it's really just forgotten. And something like the council thing, I didn't mind that it was, you know, talked about early on, in spite of how exposition he made the character of Emmanuel get all of a sudden, but there was no reason for it to be seen in the movie, because nothing happened in that. It, it basically just established the hopelessness of, you know, he, he was determined to get them to keep asking, and they told me, oh, we, we have asked, we don't get questions. And then, you know, the the Nazis, you know, say, well, the, the, the negotiations, negotiations are over, and, you know, he comes back with, you know, some stuff about how, you know, you're creating problems for us, and they just, they aren't hearing any of it. It's... You know, some of the, several of those lines are really good, but if they had just been placed in other scenes, maybe, or something, or if something had come from the council scene other than just an affirmation of, you know, it just, it, it didn't lead to anything. Now that I mentioned Emmanuel, I do want to talk about, I thought he was an excellent inclusion in the film, how pretty much every single time we saw him, he was talking about building a hiding, you know, a hiding place in his apartment, and the last time we see him, you know, he's, he's lying there and, you know, and yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe he had a hiding place built, but regardless, it didn't, it didn't amount to anything, it didn't help him, and it just, you, you, all this anxiety that he felt, all this terror that he felt, that, that was his way of dealing with it, you know? All of the people in the ghetto felt this terror of being found and being picked for the, you know, the, the truck, and that was his way of dealing with it, you know? For, for a section of the film, Adam refused to accept reality, that's his way of dealing with it. He's, he's sitting there waiting for Yosef to come up and play checkers, when Yosef was shot uh, the night before, I th it was a little unclear to me. But yeah, you know, and I, I did think it was a great, you know, I mean, in spite of how Paul talked to to y Yosef, Yosef still sacrificed his life in order to keep Paul uh, safe. You know, that was very nice. But but yes, Emmanuel, you know, that that, that last time we see him, just the, you know. We don't even really see the soldier, we don't see what happens to him, we don't see the truck. We just see Emmanuel lying there and we, we realize that the door is opening because suddenly there's this light source coming from outside and we have this sort of, you know, outline of a door in the light and we can tell that it's a German soldier because of the, the, the iconic helmet and, you know, you, you see the, the, the tip of the, of the submachine gun, and slowly, as, as the eyes of Emmanuel widen, we see this shadow block out the light, and, and it becomes a, a mythical image, it becomes something supernatural. The darkness, the evil entity claimed Emmanuel. He, he vanished. You know, we never see him again in the movie. He's never... 
you know, and, and that's exactly, the, that's the perfect way to do it. Because that was what it was. These people were being seized by a seemingly unstoppable evil force. You know, and it, it, it was a perfect way to do it. I, I don't think I'll ever forget that image, honestly. And I, I love how, just in general, it, like I said in the review, it, it cuts away, it doesn't show. You know, there's this one scene where, you know, Paul, you know, shakes some sense back into his father. Adam, we can hear the people screaming and the gunfire from out in the street. We don't see it, but it's this, even there, they're just, they're just sitting there. They're not, they're minding their own business. They're not doing anything to anyone. But they can't escape the reality that people are getting murdered in the street. And it's just, that, that's, that's the reality. And that Adam is just sitting there trying to ignore it. Because he's heard it so many times. He's, it's not really new to him that this horrible thing is happening, you know. I thought the entire discussion between Adam and, excuse me, Paul was excellent. Although, I mean, I guess it's a little obvious that, I don't know, you know what, maybe some people agree more with Paul. I personally, I can see both sides, no problem, but I can't help but agree 100% with Adam that it is not the way to go, it is not, it is not right to meet ugliness with more ugliness, you know, and... That I, I thought that the fact that it culminated in a showdown between the two where, you know, Paul is refusing to give his sister the chance that this Nazi might be able to save her. And, you know, that, that Adam finds himself shooting his own son. And, and it's not that he wants to, it's not that he hates his son, but it is that he realizes that it's the only chance his daughter will have to, to escape. And I just, I just thought that was phenomenal. And, and the, the regret in both of them, you know, you know may, may God have mercy on me. No, may God have mercy on me. I've shot my, my son, you know. The, the whole thing was f fantastic and it's, it's it makes sense that it would get to that point, you know, it, because it, 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 it was so much of an us versus them, you know, it, there, there was no room for anyone of the other side to fraternize with our side, you know, in, in his mind. And I rather liked the... Yeah, just, uh, yeah, the, the whole discussion and the the, 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 the the goodbye between the siblings with, you know, he was, he was calling his own sister a slut for, you know, and, and he refused to say goodbye to her. It might be the last time he ever saw her and he refused to say goodbye. He, he was that determined, you know, it, it, that, that is the face of fanaticism. You know, you, this is his sister, he loves her, she loves him. You know, there's, there's no need for this, and, but he, he refuses to understand, and, and thus it ends the way it, it the, the only way it could. I suppose that's, that's what I, what I have to say. I I also liked that Lot, Sar Sergeant Lot was taking responsibility for you know he af afterwards he did think you know maybe I could have stopped it maybe I should have done more to prevent the commandant from you know, obviously raping Rachel you know and. And I think it's fantastic that there were no details about the... It's, it's pretty clear that she was raped. But... Yeah, the, the, there, are no, there are no details. There is no... 
you know, yeah, I, I just thought that was the exact right way to, to handle that. And, and we just see him waiting outside, you know, it, it stays on him, and, and he just, you know, he, and I think that maybe also shows, he, did, he didn't make, he, I'm not sure he needed to be there, he needed to wait there, but he wanted to, you know, he felt responsible for her, he wanted to take her home. You know, and it's not like he was just twiddling his thumbs or reading a good book or something. He was he was stressed out. He couldn't he didn't feel right about it. And you know, then yeah, later he does accept responsibility and yeah, I I thought that was very compelling. As as was the whole film. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.